Chef Buck here, and today we're going to poach some fish. I got some cod here. There's no skin on this cod. I was going to poach some salmon, but the salmon had skin, and I didn't feel like fooling with it, so I just got this here. Because poaching, you know, we're basically going to cook it in water. I like crispy skin, so I sort of avoid skin on the fish for poaching. Isn't poaching illegal? <laughs> Get on down here, comedian. Okay, I got a, a flat bottom pan so they'll have room to set my fish on here. And I got some water kind of boiling here already. So let me start it up because I'm going to fix some water to poach my fish in. And you can add all kinds of seasoning and flavors to your water. But, I mean, there's no reason to go crazy. Because if you want super duper flavorful fish, I don't think poaching is the way to go. You know, maybe you'll want to fry your fish, you know, do something like that. But for poaching, you want to keep it simple. So I'm not going to go crazy on the flavors, but I am going to throw some of these ingredients in here just so that I will have some of these boiled vegetables to serve with my fish. So you can put anything you want in here, but I'm just doing some onions and carrots. I'm going to do me a little bit of salt. Now poaching, you don't actually want it boiling, right? No, no, no. Bring we're it not, to a boil. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to poach it in boiling water, right. but I am bringing up this up to a boil just so I can cook my veggies a little bit. Sure. So I got the salt, and then I'm going to do some black pepper, mm -hmm. some fresh ground black pepper. And now I'm going to go ahead and give this a head start and let these flavors cook together for a little bit. But as you can see, I've already got my fish out, and I've had this sitting out probably for about a half hour. They're nice kind of fat pieces of fish, but you don't want to take your fish right out of the fridge and put it in here because you don't want it to be too cold in the center. You want it to kind of cook kind of evenly. And no seasoning on the fish. No seasoning on the fish because we're going to add some seasoning later uh, to the fish when it's on our plate. But while that's uh, cooking up, I'm just going to toss me a salad. We're going to keep it super simple. Uh, so I'll come back to this un momento. So I've given my veggies just a couple of minutes head start and I'm going to go ahead and reduce this down to kind of medium low and I'm going to give this a few minutes to stop boiling and come down to a super duper light simmer. So now it's come down off my boil so I'm going to put a little bit of wine in here. That's going to add some flavor Flav. If you didn't want to put wine what would you put? Chicken broth? You don't have to have a lot of flavor here because you're just going to be wasting your time. We're not going to cook it that long. You know so you don't need to use a bunch of broth. You don't need to waste a lot of ingredients. And I'm just going to have barely enough liquid in here to cover my fish. And if it doesn't quite cover my fish, that's going to be okay because it's still going to be steaming in here a little bit. Because it doesn't take a lot to cook fish. Fish wants to cook itself. I mean, if you look at your fish hard enough and concentrate, you can cook fish. Now I'm going to take my fillets au cod and then just gently place them in my pan au agua. I'm going to give them a little squirty squirt of lemon juice. I mean, can you see there's a little bit of bubbling going on there? Oh, a lot of bubbling going on. All right. It's just a wee little bubble bubble. In fact, I'm going to lower it because it's, I can see it's coming up a little bit because I want it to kind of steam and poach in there kind of slow. So now I'm going to cover it up. These are kind of fat pieces of fish, so I'll probably give it between 8 and 10 minutes. And then that's it. That's all that's going to happen. And I'll be done. And this is a very simple way to cook fish. And we're in a house sit. And this house sit is almost over. So this is also going to be a very low impact fish recipe. Because I love to get like a piece of fish with some skin on it and put it in a hot skillet and fry it. Get that nice crispy skin and that great flavor. But then you've got that flavor all over the house. And when you're house sitting, you've got to think about it not getting that flavor all over the house. So this is a very, uh, like I said, low impact way to cook some fish. Let's see. So I think that's plenty of time. You see my fish is just kind of slightly bubbling a little bit, but it's not going crazy in there. Because you don't want it to be boiling because it'll just tear your fish apart. You know, you'll overcook it. It's just not necessary. I'm going to grab my little veggies out of here. Just a little bit of carrot and onion. And so these are just some plain boiled vegetables, but they've been cooked a little bit in that salt and pepper and that wine and a little bit of lemon juice. So these veggies are going to have a nice little bit of flavor. A nice big hunk of chunk of fish out of here. Getting that camera girl. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to lay it right here on this salad that I got tossed with just a little bit of oil and vinegar. 
And you can do this with any kind of fish. This is a really good preparation for salmon, but I wouldn't leave the skin on your salmon if you were gonna do it that way. And I'm getting all of my veggies out of here. I don't like wasting this here. You could have a sauce if you wanted, couldn't you? Oh, you could definitely uh, make you a little sauce. You could just get you a little mayonnaise and some of uh, this lemon juice and mix you up a little sauce. Or something spicy. But we're just keeping it simple. A little more cracked pepper on top. I got some lemon wedges here so we can squeeze some lemon on here, but that's all there is to it. It's just a nice honka chunk of poached fish. Muy delicioso. Muy healthy. Look at this here. Look at that gun. I, I got like derringers. Pew, pew. Very flaky. Just falling apart. Perfecto. Super simple fish flavor. You don't have to do a lot to this here. Super duper easy recipe for poaching fish. Very healthy. You know, we didn't put any butter. We didn't put any wolves, fats, anything in here. You know, we put wine, but wine's good for you, right? Is that what the scientists say now? Whatever. Yeah. The scientists with slight drinking problems highly recommend wine. And we'll have links down below to anything pertinent, you know, over to myfoodchannel.com. You can go over there and check out all our recipes. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, definitely give poaching fish a try. And we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.